Our in-depth coverage of Representative Watson's DUI scandal continues now. I suppose if you're a gay man from Guatemala who gambles and smokes pot, you probably think that we're on to some good ideas here. The House Minority Leader came under fire two months ago for making that controversial comment, one that angered many, including the Guatemalan community. Tonight, they're reacting to Watson's DUI arrest. Iowa News reporter Catherine Sotnik has the details live from the capital city with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Mike, tonight the president of the Guatemalan American Alliance says personally he actually feels bad for Watson because he says, of course, he has a family, but he says politically he does not feel bad at all, and he says it's time for him to leave his House minority seat. David Quiroa of the Guatemalan American Alliance calling Republican House Minority Leader Bob Watson a hypocrite and demanding that he step down. It's not a healthy thing, you know. He needs to step down. Watson was busted in Friday in East Haven, Connecticut for driving under the influence and possession of marijuana. How can you walk in there and be taken serious, you know? They may think, oh, he's probably stoned. What kind of message we send to the community? What kind of message are we sending to the community? And, and, I, and I say to buy some marijuana with drug dealers. And it's not the first time that Watson and the groups have clashed. In February, Watson made what he called a joke that didn't go over well with the Guatemalan community. I suppose if you're a gay man from Guatemala who gambles and smokes pot, you probably think that we're on to some good ideas here. He is the leader. He deals with a lot of debate in the state house, especially around the issues of marijuana. It's proven now that he's being a hypocrite as far as that. Uh, and, and any other issue, you know, he always tends to uh, put immigrants in a negative light. Uh, and for that one reason, I think he cannot be the voice. And both groups vow that they're not stopping here. They say they're actually holding a news conference at 11 a.m. on Thursday morning for once again to demand that Representative Watson step down. Again, they're going to be holding a news conference on Thursday. Reporting live today with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Catherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News.